Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to quickly set up your machine learning blog using Fast Pages. Fast Pages is a service from Fast AI where you can create a machine learning blog where you can write the blog post using Jupyter Notebook, Markdown, or Docx like Word document. And Fast A Fast Pages actually converts these into blog posts and then it is hosted on GitHub Pages. This is quite a seamless process, very easy. A lot of times people usually debate where do I have to create my blog, but this is quite easy and simple. And it's good because you know you get to write it on Jupyter Notebook because if you have got an interactive chart, it's going to stay interactive. If you got a chart, you don't have to separately embed. You have a lot of advantages when you use fast pages than you know any other typical uh, blogging platform. So I'm going to teach you how to create fast pages, your own blog for, of using fast pages that kind of looks like this. So we're going to do it for our own uh, Git. Like I'm going to first use it my GitHub account and then I'm going to do it. I'm going to do step by step. So you get to learn how to create your own machine learning or data science blog using fast pages. So first of all, we need to go to the GitHub repository. So fast a slash fast pages is the GitHub repository. Make sure that if you start the repository, if you have not started the repository, this is a free service, of course, at least the least we could do is starting the repository. So you can come here and then read the description, like what, what are the advantages fast pages give you? Maybe we can read this later on. So first I'm going to start with going to the instruction, clicking the setup instruction. And in the setup instruction, it says generate a copy of this repository by clicking on this link. So that's what I'm going to first do. So if you're going to do it for yourself, you have to come to the GitHub repository, just straight away get into the instructions, setup instructions, and there you would see this first link. Generate a copy of this repository by clicking on this link. I'm going to click this link, then it's going to open in a new tab. So now I have to give a name. Just the only name that you cannot give is your username and you can give any other name. So I'm going to say that I want to call it ML blog. Okay, so let's say I want to call it machine learning blog. Um, if I want to add a description, I can say ML blog powered by fast pages and you can create the repository. So at this point, the repository has successfully getting created. The repository is successfully getting created after the repository is getting created like after it is done now you need you need a pull request the fast fast pages github actions will send you a pull request you can just go to the actions and then see that there is something happening here so which means you need to wait for the pull request to happen and as you can see in a couple of seconds you already got the pull request now click this pull request also you know known as pr popularly so here I've got the set of instructions, what all things that you need to do. So you can see three clear steps. One, you need to create an SSH key pair. And then second, you need to go to this place and then add the SSH key. And then finally, you know, you need to go there and then add your second, like one, th there's a place where you need to add your private key and there's a place where you need to add public key. And then there is an action that you, um, the access that you need to give. And once you do this thing, you are ultimately ready. The PR should get merged and then, you know, um, and th things should start happening. So let's do one by one and you can, you know, learn um, while I'm doing it. Once we set up all these things, we can expect the blog to be present on this URL. Right now, if we click, nothing would be there because we have not set up the blog yet. So first I'm going to open this utility. Everything I'm opening, I'm opening it in new tab so that this tab, you know, exists there. So open the new utility, this, this utility. So this is a page that helps you generate SSH key. So what are the options that we need to give? We need to keep RSA and then 4096 and leave the paraphrase empty. So go there and then say RSA 4096 and leave the paraphrase empty. Is it empty? Yeah, just make sure it's empty. Generate SSH keys after we have done. So now we have the private key. Now we have the public key. So private key starts with begin RSA key and then it ends with, let's say ends with n RSA private key. But on the other hand, public key starts with SSH RSA, but there is nothing else like to end. So now I'm going to go back to the instruction. I'm going to read the instruction. This says navigate to this link, create a new repository secret and copy and paste the private key into the value field. This includes everything. So basically you need to copy everything and paste. So I'm going to click this link. And once we reach this place, we have to create a new repository secret. 
after we have that what is the secret name the secret name is ssh deploy key so ssh deploy key now we need to copy and paste the private key so i'm going to copy everything from here till the top let me make sure that i'm copying correctly i'm going to come back here and add the value and add the secret so at this point we have successfully added our private key and which is what we call as ssh deploy key so the next step is we need to navigate to this link and then say add deploy key and paste the public key that we got from the step one and in the key box and in the title you can we can say anything um, and then we need to just make sure that we have selected allow write access so let's go there then say add deploy key and in the title let's say fast pages key and it should begin with ssh rsa so we are going to copy everything from here and then go add it make sure that we have added allow write skills and add the key so now at this point we have successfully added our public and private key so now go back to the pull request and then click the pull request and then see what is this next thing so now after we do this thing ideally we have to go check actions if anything is happening first okay so it looks good so i'm going to merge this pull request i'm going to merge this pull request i'm going to confirm merging after we do that let's say this is merged now i'm going to go to the github actions and in the github actions i can see that the merge pull request that we did it is now that action is being triggered like you can you can go here and see all the steps that are happening here so click this and then you can you can see what are all the steps that are available so set up a job then you have this uh, actions set up python the dependencies check the base url check if any base url rule is violated check for user pages see if any user page user pages rule is violated and then um, you have got completed job so looks like by the time i was talking this talking about this this is already done so looks like it is done so let me go here and then see what is what is happening here so i think this is okay so this is fast pages automated setup so it is setting up um so this is a jacail jacail is um, um uh, static web static site generator just like your hugo and lot of other these sites so you can see that that has been set up and a couple of more setups are happening like setup directories for jacail jacail build finally only once you build it something like a, a markdown would get converted into an html like actually you convert an html and then you show it from github pages that's what happens so now that process is happening so copy the cname file that is what next is so i'll quickly go back there and then you know add some more details the pull request must be closed by this time but you know there are a couple of details that we can we can use to see so right now what we have done is we have done this thing right so now you need to you need to if you decide to have a custom domain let's say instead of me saying um something like this uh, instead of me saying something that looks like this amrrs.github.io/mlblog if i don't want this let's say i want a custom blog maybe i have a website called let's say onelittlecoder.com or something i don't have a website like that but i'm just saying if i have a website like that then if i want to add a custom domain let's say i want to say blog.onelittlecoder.com or blog. let's say facebook.com blog.google.com if i have to set up a custom domain then after merging this pr i need to add a file named c name so by default the file name c name that is available in a root repository root folder like if we go i can show you the c name where is the c name do we have a c name hit okay c name okay so far i think we have not we don't have but if you if you want if you want to set up your custom domain then you need to add a c name and you can copy the c name from the fast pages link so you can get the c name edit it with your custom domain and then add it to your root folder so that will for, that's the first step for adding a custom domain and then the second step is you need to change the url and base url parameters in the config.yml file so slash config.yml file so let me quickly go there slash config yml file so here you have to go and then change the url and then change the base url so when you are doing for your custom domain so these are the three things that you have to do step 1 you need to add a c name with your custom domain on it and then you need to change the url and you need to change the base url in the 
underscore config dot yml so now let's go back to actions and then see okay so at this point both the actions are done completely successfully so and i'm going to click this domain and see if the blog is up so it says ci is passing the gh page status it says no status so i'm not sure let's click this and then see okay so we have successfully managed to create our machine learning blog now the question is what is the easiest way for me to update this machine learning blog i'll tell you the easiest way the easiest way for you to do that is using the visual studio code for web vs code web and the way you can trigger that is you you would have seen like probably if you have seen my videos you would have seen this a lot because i've been uh, i've been using uh, visual studio code web for a lot this is not code spaces but if you have got a github repository so let me duplicate this repository right after i duplicate it i can go github.com so i can remove the com and then say github.dev and then i can come back here so you have got some helpful links just just let's say that now we want to write a blog with a markdown okay so now if you if you want to write a blog with a markdown so what are the steps the steps are like this um where is where is markdown yeah if you're writing your blog post in markdown save your dot md file into the post folder with the same naming convention which is which is like this so that's good that's good that's good detail that we have got but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to say github.dev and then trigger an instance of visual studio code web with this repository as a folder so that's what we are doing now so we have uh, in we have created an instance of a visual studio code on the cloud with this folder like we have opened it with this folder and uh, what did we see we saw that it should be within post so you need to have it in the same format so we already have a file called um, um, the date and whatever what not so i'm going to re, re, uh, i'm going to um, duplicate this file so how do i duplicate this I can right click this and then say copy and can i paste it as well doesn't look like i can duplicate so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to copy all the content create a new file right i'm going to paste it here and then when i'm going to save it i'm going to copy the title okay so now let us say uh, this is a post we want table of contents to okay minimal description okay i'm going to give a minimal description this um is my first blog post using fast pages for one little coder video demo i think this might be very small when you see but um but but let's see and uh, you know what i'm going to make it big i'm going to make it big okay so title my first blog post for life okay i think my i should say my first live blog post while doing a screencast i can give a title i can say welcome to one little coder and then you know i can say all of this um i can delete all this like you you know how the mark markdown formatting looks like right so i can delete all these things like you can add a twitter card as well right as you can see i'm going to simply go and then say please subscribe to my channel because more than 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribers so maybe this is a clickbait message but that is true like more than 80% of people who watch my videos are not my subscribers they have not subscribed so if you like my content please subscribe that would help me a lot or i mean like make me feel good that, that's the whole point and you would also get notified whenever i publish something so we have written our first markdown based post this is like we are not doing jupyter notebook we are not doing docx we are just doing a markdown demo so now at this point i need to save this file before i save this file i'm going to go here i'm going to click rename just for me to copy the file name and then i'm going to come back here i'm going to say save and then here i'm going to select the file name so what's today's date today's date is 2202204 and i'm going to give the title so the title i'm going to say is first blog post i don't need 2md so first blog post looks fine click okay and then now you have to save it so now go here and then say my first blog post commit it once you commit it and then you go here to the the um, the blog post your blog post 
it should ideally trigger a github action so let's go here and then see you can see that it has successfully triggered a github action which means the post that you saved is now being rendered into an html page because that's what the static site generator would do and that static gen site generators creation or output which is an html file is going to be rendered when we see here right now it is not there when you click fast when you click fast pages you don't see it here so let's quickly go back and then see when this is finishing but you can meanwhile you know you can actually see an example so this is a fast pages notebook blog post example so you can add badges like this github badge binder badge collab badge deep note badge like so your your users like audience who come to read something here will have an ability to open this code on all of these platforms especially if you see something like binder you don't have to set up any environment it's quite simple and easy so and again like you have all the options especially like if you are making altair charts you you can preserve the interactivity like you can select you can select you can do all these things like especially if you're going to use altair chart so there are a lot of advantages of using fast ai uh, sorry i keep on saying fast ai i mean there are advantages using fast ai of course indeed but here in this case um, using fast ai fast pages if you create something that's um, that, that's quite nice like you have got twitter cards youtube embedding so this is and of course right you have got comments like you can you can sign in with github comment it and then you you know it goes to the creator as a as a github issue i think so it has got a lot of advantages to be honest and uh, you can you know you can start trying it out let me refresh it again is it is it still publishing yeah pages are built getting built for deployment so one of the one of the disadvantages of using a static site generator um, is probably you know the build time is high that's something that you would note but i mean not everybody is you doing a youtube tutorial right for for them to see it live so in an ideal scenario this shouldn't this shouldn't matter a lot because it's like a like couple of seconds but because i'm doing a youtube tutorial and everybody is watching me i'm a little concerned yeah so the blog post is there my first live blog post while doing a screencast this is my first blog post using fast pages for one little coder video demo when i click this it says please subscribe to my channel because more than 80 percent of users people who watch my videos are not subscribers we have got jake wanderplus's twitter card so jake is jake jake has done a i think jake created altair or probably jake has done a huge contribution to altair i i could be wrong in what i'm saying but yeah so you have got this thing you have got the basic setup so you have got your first blog post completely you know set up so the next thing is you can again go read all the instructions are available here so you can go read the instructions especially go to the fast pages fast pages repository and you can read the instruction you know how do you edit the title for example how do you configure the title so replace the title with the desired title and um, and awesome summary so now where do you do this thing you do this thing um, in the in the you do this thing for every post like if you want to do it for every post you go there and then you do this thing one thing that i wanted to show you is after you render it it actually creates an html file which should be ideally somewhere here i'm not exactly sure where it would have got rendered yeah so ideally what happens is whatever the markdown that you create that gets edited and as, as an html page so that's 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 what actually you see and um, and and yeah so basically you have successfully managed to set up your first or not not maybe first but your machine learning blog that can where you can write your blog using jupyter notebook markdown quite simple markdown i would love to do with markdown and with microsoft word docx and you can also locally preview if you are doing it on local machine but i wouldn't necessarily do it on local machine um, i would probably prefer to do everything on the cloud which means you can do it on your android tablet ipad whatever device like even if you have got a keyboard and connected with your android device or iphone you can still do that so there are certain things that um, you need to note uh, it's it's not it's not very good for you to go make some changes like whatever you want to do so th read the note always like for example it says that you may want to remove example blog posts from post notebooks word folder but leave them empty do not delete these folders right if you don't want that to appear please delete the co content inside it but do not delete the folder because it would mess up with the setup and if you have any question you can always go to the nbdev blogging channel um, and then 
in bdf and blogging channel on fast ai forums and then you can ask the question so once again um in a couple of like i think it it has taken less than 20 minutes we have successfully managed to set up our blog powered by fast pages deployed on github pages or rendered by github pages and then we have successfully used to use visual studio visual studio code for web to edit the blog edit the content and uh, finally if you so like after you do a, all these things finally if you publish it um it is available for anybody to read and then you can share it with them so completely for free um, supports jupyter notebook which is like quite 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 a thing uh, for a lot of uh, machine learning engineers and data scientists and uh, and yeah it's it's just a few lines of a uh, few few clicks and then you have uh, everything set up and ready and then you can just you can just um, you can just go with this so one final thing i would like to quickly show you um so you can see that uh, the title so you have to just go config yml like the reason i'm doing this is because i'm showing you i should probably do this job correctly so i'm going to call it ml blog i'm going to call it ml blog and then i'm going to say this is one little coders ml blog created for the video cast so most likely i might delete this blog while you watch this video but but uh, so now click this again I'll go back again and then comment saying okay edited the title and description of the blog and save it and um, ideally you know now it should have again triggered the github action if you go see it would again trigger the github action which means it would take a couple of um, couple of seconds uh, less than a minute for you to see any changes so any anything that you need i, I would suggest you to fall back to the fast pages repository and then start reading what are the options that you have got it has got a lot of good options you should definitely check them out and um, and yeah i would strongly encourage you to create your own blog with fast pages and if you do that let me know in the comment section also let me know what did you feel about this tutorial um like especially did you already know fast pages or is this the first time you hear about fast pages there's a lot of lot of data scientists like writing on medium um i mean maybe because medium pays but sometimes for people who read medium is a little annoying or could be like more annoying so having your own blog means you have the total control uh, and it's completely free if you want to add custom domain you can if you don't want to pay for custom domain that's fine so everything is everything is um, in your control and uh, that's it your blog is live there and um, for anybody to see in this entire world so thank you so much for listening to me 